Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Kanye West is he helping, hurting, or is he uh, just promoting? We about to do this for real? That's on your notes. It's on my mm -hmm. goddamn notes. You want the notebook back, God Booby? The damn. notebook is back, Booby. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the turtle mug? Jeez. Um, uh, I'm gonna go for two out of three and say, how is he helping? Because he's definitely doing the other two. Okay. Well. That's why I asked. I mean, if you had to write like a paper of your assignment is to write how he's helping, I'm sure you could think of excuses, but yeah, that that's kind of like where I'm, I could like I could like yeah, I, I can you it would be just like just about like hey, how is Trump good for the country? It's the same like well, you can come up with some shit, but it'd be some shit. What you got? Is he helping, hurting, or just promoting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Um. Well, how do you feel? feel what is your Kanye. opinion? Okay, my opinion about Kanye is that the whole artistry thing, he's fucking around and about to throw that shit out the window. Being an artist, I say what I want. I want my music to sound the way that I'm feeling. I'm trying to express something. I'm trying to give y'all a part of me. When he did the whole media run and then the song came out about the media run and the things he said and the things he done tweeted about and all that stuff, it was like, okay, gimmick 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 now you're going to make your music into these subjects that you have put out there to trend and so now it's like are you really going to talk about things that's on your mind or you're going to just make up some shit and then make shit relevant later yeah it feels like he's a like he's made a career out of complaining about shit being unfair but he's gotten to a point of such richness and such fame and doing so much that it's like he doesn't have anything to complain about anymore. So now he's just like, he's like starting the fire and then putting it out and then want everybody to be like, hey, everybody, look, I put this fire out. Yeah, nigga, you started it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just, he, he's doing too much. It's gimmicky. It's, that's, it's just gimmicky. I don't, yeah, it's, I, I'm kind of feeling It's gimmicky. Too. Like he's falling into the vanilla ice situation. I'm just <laughs> doing this because this is what's popping. <laughs> I mean, I did say he died back when his mama died, but I guess it's just not coming around. Cause, I mean, I I've been stopped fucking with him. What was the last Kanye you you bought, or you you know you 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 listened to for real? You listened to Pablo, didn't you? Yep. I listened to what I could deal with, cause he had a lot of bullshit on that album. For for people to like that album as much as they did, I didn't understand it. Much but, as they do. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I didn't how think many, it was. How many great. good tracks does an album have to have before we consider it a good album? Good point. What did he have? Like twenty-one tracks up there, but then he kept switching them out. When it first dropped, yeah, yeah you're right. When it when it first dropped, I gave it a listen. I was like, yeah, I don't like the way this bullshit sounds. Skipped it. See, and that album was produced by EA Games. They kept making <laughs> and and updates and shit. And this is this is the thing he's doing now with his with him speaking out in the media is that. It's like, hold up, he gets to say what he wants, but then he gets the chance to come back and say, oh, when I said this, I really meant this. It's like, nigga, yeah, I don't buy this you can't keep telling me it's fucking hot outside and, and it's freezing. And then it was like, oh, what I'm trying to say is that it's so cold, it feel hot. Like, no, my nigga, you can't do that. You can't do that. Well, the thing to me, like, it's just like one one of my problems is that I don't mind people speaking their mind as long as I feel like you're being genuine with it, and I don't feel like he's being real with how he's feeling and shit. Like, it's like it's one thing to be a misunderstood artist or be a misunderstood genius, but it's like he's giving you stuff purposely being misunderstood. Like he's putting it in a way that he knows people are gonna people are gonna take this the wrong way. Cause like, like for him to be as smart as he is and as good as he is with words, like I didn't see him do paint a, a full picture in two bars. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't telling me you can do that. You can't say I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven, then I woke up and spent that on a necklace. There's so much in those two bars. You can't be the same guy that says that and then put a fucking dumbass tweet out and then be like, oh, well, let me explain. Like, nah, you're good enough to add another sentence to that tweet to make it all make sense or to find some other way to make the point you want to make. It seems to me like what he's doing is putting wild shit out there to get everybody like, the fuck he talking about? 
So then they'll ask him to come out and speak. And people, like, he's trying to create a demand for him to explain himself so that way he gets more, you know what I'm saying? That's, what it, that's the way the that's shit feels to me. That's the publicity part. Yeah. That's the way that shit feels to me. So to me, I feel like niggas, like, just promoting, but at the same time, I can do the bullshit. I can find some good in it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't. You got to pull it, though. He's not presenting the good. You got to go reach for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, I got to. You, you got to yeah, go you reach can't, for You're not really getting it from facts. It's more like. And that's like, not fair. That, yeah. Could that mean then the devil can say some fucked up shit to you and you be like, well, I'm going to grab the positive yeah, from yeah. it. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yo, that's that's Jim Jones. That's drinking the fucking juice. I mean, that's All drinking right. the Kool-Aid. Now, mm-hmm. that was where I was going to go next is with the. Uh, do we as people who have been following him so far to where we can like we said we can see, I, I can be like okay I can be, knowing Kanye as well as we know Kanye I can see what the fuck he's trying to say I can see what he's doing so because he's been his good outweighs his bad as far as his track record as far as like all the statements he's made all the times he's been bold and spoke up since he's been speaking up well up until this point so do we so, I don't want to say owe it to him, but like no, <laughs> he ain't been speaking up well, dude. Since this point, like, come on, his all right. So oh, every, let me let me finish. But I'm okay. saying, like, but should we um now that he's gone over the deep end, should we like try to be more understanding and patient with him because we know that he has a good track record of being real and saying shit we agree with. No. Fuck no. I want to see this track record because like his his. How old Every, is he? Hold, hold on, no, his his mom died ten years ago. Mm-hmm. Kanye only been around, but maybe fourteen, fifteen years. Nigga, yeah. We are old. Yeah, I'm just saying, but that he only been around like fourteen years. No, nah, dog, longer than that, bro. When was Rock La Familia? I'm asking you because you think everything came out in 1998. When was? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> shit it on me. Uh, no, nah, that's, that's what I'm trying to think of. Um, 2001. Fuck. Okay, when did Rock La Familia come out? Compared to College Dropout. Well, College Dropout was 2004, but Rock La Familia is when he mm-hmm. hit the scene. Rock La Familia is when he started. That's, that yeah. was when this that, came That's why life. I'm asking, because I'm like, when did. How how long before was, College I'm thinking, Dropout? I'm thinking 99, but I can't. So What was on Rock La Familia so that's that like Kanye had? Damn near 19 that years, yeah. bro. Hold on, what was hold on? What was on what was on Rock La Familia that Kanye Changed was on? Changed the game? Oh, well, they, Kanye was on? Yeah, I mean, what, the, that made us uh, know. This can't be life. With Scarface being single, that was his but, beat. Okay, oh, no, come on, you can't, you can't say the beat. I'm talking about his words. We're talking about him. We didn't know who he was then. Like once he came out with Fire, then everybody went back to Kanye. Like, oh, he did this beat. He did that beat. He did this beat. So, so then once we start hearing him, was the fire through the fire? And when was that? That's 2002. So yeah, 16 years. Okay, so we were pushing 15, 16. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. But uh, but after his mom died is when you got, uh, what's the white girl name? Taylor Swift. He told us Taylor Swift won't shit. And here Did we he are. tell us Taylor Swift won't shit or just Beyonce had a better video? He was basically saying that uh, he told her, Taylor Hold Swift. Hold on, I'll let you finish. But well, first and foremost, that was unnecessary. Very unnecessary. Extremely unnecessary. For MTV award. And it being Beyonce, yeah, it was un. It it, it wasn't. It didn't need it to be said. People what were going to be mad. Taylor Swift was dumb young at the time too. It was like, yo, let her hire shit. Beyonce got a million of these motherfuckers, man. Mm-hmm. Let her hire shit. And that's why when she All did right. win hers, she went ahead and was like, yo, you come back up here. I'm gonna give you the mic. Like I've been, I've been doing this. But the people that were going to be mad, like Kanye, I don't feel like Kanye West had any type of influence in terms of that Taylor Swift Beyonce shit. No, but, okay, but what I'm saying is with him doing that is like what's behind that was the system being what the system is. That's why he would kind of look at her like this and ain't you really think it took a that bad. moment for us to figure that out. For a lot of motherfuckers, maybe. And he's like the one that stood up and been like, yeah, because like I said, it's about more about the system itself. Like it's like, I'm going to let you finish because it ain't really about you. But yeah, this is, you know what I'm saying? She had the best. Why isn't she up here? Oh, cause they want to, they want her up here. But why her? You know what I'm saying? Basically, what the fuck is being said? Then you look at what happens with Taylor Swift. Like he, he saw a machine behind her of a whole bunch of bullshit. Like, like on some last, the y'all remember my last temptation of Christ theory? 
where it's like we don't need you to be what we we don't need you to participate we're going to use you as our symbol like that's taylor swift is that symbol like they don't really need her participation for them to make her the poster girl and he saw that like to him that was him bucking on that whole system that was behind taylor swift so he, he pointed that shit out first doing that he was so why didn't he fuck. just say yo this shit is rigged he ended up doing that later Same thing he did at the Grammys. We ain't playing with y'all no more. Y'all ain't want to hear him when he said that shit? Y'all remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. I really don't remember that one. Uh-uh. Remember when uh, fucking, oh, well, this is before his mom died, but 50 Cent, when 50 Cent, uh, 50 Cent didn't win Best New Artist at the Grammys, and then he went around telling everybody that was bullshit. This is like 05, maybe. When was that? I don't Grammys. I mean, but you know, best that was a thing. So he's always been outspoken about shit. But he he'll point shit out. Yeah. Like, see, you know now was this? See, because the only thing I remember is is him and Amber Rose with a goddamn bottle of Hennessy and all that shit going on. So I, I then, think that was the Grammys. One that the Grammys. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. Too the only reason because I don't watch award shows. The only reason I know about the Taylor Swift shit. Then I did. Is a fucking meme. Then I did. I know I did back then, but I know we all remember George Bush don't care about black people. Yeah, and when was that? That's why I was I was waiting to ask. Katrina. Yeah, it was but I can't. Two thousand six. Yeah, six. Damn, we was out of school for Katrina. Well, I was out of school. We was out of school for Katrina. Mm. You was out too. Damn. I had just graduated. Fuck. You sure it was 06 and not 05? I'm thinking 06 because well, they was covering that shit in 06, so maybe 2005. I just remember seeing shit about. You might have been right, 2005. I think the hurricane right. was 05, but like, you know, all the shit. It lasted I so like fucking I seen long. It on TV. No, what I'm thinking about, cause I, I think my, I saw something about it on TV when I was in my first apartment, and that was 2006. But then again, I had to think about it probably was the first year anniversary of it. Mm. And it was probably, that's what I'm like, you probably right, it's 2005. But either way, like I'm saying, like, you know, that's a. I can agree with you on that. Yeah, so that's pretty decent like track record of him standing up and saying shit and being basically right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he said that wild shit, bucking on Taylor Swift and that whole system behind her. And now in the future, now that we can look at Taylor Swift now and what we don't like about her and what we don't like about that whole system going on there, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he was right about that shit. Same thing he said about the Grammys. He told the Grammys, like, okay, they bullshit and we ain't fucking with y'all no more. And when he said that, the Grammys got their shit together and started nominating black folks all over the damn sudden. Now they done expanded the categories. Because when he said okay. that shit, people started noticing, like, huh, he's right. How the fuck? Because he said that shit, we ain't playing with y'all no more. Then the next year uh, is when Beyonce lost to Beck, and everybody's like, Whoa, wait a minute, what? And then the and next year. that year? Yeah, so, so he said, because he, he noticed it ahead of time, because he could see, like, okay, they still fucking with us. But we ain't fucking with y'all no more. And then the next year is when Beyonce got beat for Beck. And then that, so it was like, he's just a little bit early on a bunch of shit. So I'm like, so since he has a good track was kind of defending that, because was he the dude that can play like 20 fucking instruments and do all his shit? And people were saying like, Beyonce don't even write half her songs. Oh yeah, it was was something. Was was he that guy or was it someone else? I mean, like it was something like that. But yeah, Beck's a bad motherfucker. I can tell you that much. So uh, yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm not gonna chalk that up to Kanye. Cause that that's shit not, that I already on, wait, knew. Wait, 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 like, okay, but yeah, but what I'm saying is. He be right. He be saying shit. Then we kind of like okay. disregard it. Like fuck. What, like what? What? What is Kanye talking about? Then he turns out to be right. So I'm saying with him having no, that with, track record with, with the Taylor Swift thing, won't nobody sitting there like, what is he? This is like, man, come on, man. You like, we know what it is. Because when I saw it, I was like, yo, I already. I'm not surprised. But it's like, all right, this is this is Kanye but just being Taylor. But Kanye I mean, like that up. wasn't just like it wasn't just about like okay, this is a black artist getting passed up by a white artist. This was about like. Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? So we can look at Taylor yeah, some Swift. Young, skinny, okay, white, so now, blonde bitch. So it's, it's a lot of them though, but all of them don't turn so, out to be like Taylor Swift. He I saw that Taylor Swift was going to be Taylor Swift. Then cool, cool but like I'm saying, the dude has a track record. Okay, won. so let's say okay, he got the track. Let's say he got the track record for being right. All right. So now what? He's he's broke, and now he's using. The same tactics to, and but this time he's more so leaning wrong or what? 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 what I'm saying should now. we like, should we try to like give him the benefit of the doubt and think? Give about him a chance it. to clean it up. Not even give him a chance to clean up, but just think like sit down and be like, okay, cool. Well, on our own without having him explain, like what could he be trying to do? Trying to mean? What could he mean? 
You know what I'm saying? Should we be patient before we just dismiss the nigga? You know what I'm saying? See, now this is the thing. Now, if he was, if he was like vlogging or something, or like on a typical regular basis or something, then put out all these, you know, these thoughts slowly and surely. But he's like, do okay. Got a question? Because I'm not on the internet like y'all are like that. When y'all write something, y'all don't think about this shit when y'all writing, typing the shit down. Like you got to. I mean, I do. Yeah, because when I'm you when I'm texting, I'm, I literally I'm probably text that shit three four times because I'm trying to make sure that I don't come off wrong or whoop de whoop de whoop whatever. So I, I I don't know. I'm just answering y'all because y'all more snap too quicker than me. Uh, if you're trying to talk like on a general basis, I guess people put a little bit of thought into it. People put more thought into what they want people to feel than what they're actually saying. But uh, me, yeah, I think about what I say before I say it. Yeah. And that's why I asked how old is he when we first started this conversation. It, it, I don't even because think it matters I, how old you are. I just really no, think, I'm saying, like, I damn think about 50. it more now than what I used to. Like, I, I pay more attention now mm, Yeah, because I've gotten older and matured more than you know, little fucking 16-year-old me. Yeah. Well, so for this dude to be 40 fucking something years old with a whole family and shit yeah. and it's like he needs his, a muzzle his, man That's his it, communication man. is going down instead of up or at least staying level but I can I, I but then let, let, let me let me grab the excuse for Kanye he might don't have the right fucking people around him oh, that's he clearly doesn't have the right fucking yeah, people so, around him that's why nobody calls him Kanye West no more it's so I mean it's KK well just like another problem no, that I have no, with man. with him uh, doing all this stuff is like that's between me and my wife it, well, another thing um, I don't going into I don't know which one. yeah I just I was gonna breeze right past it go ahead it. man I was gonna breeze <laughs> right past <laughs> it keep going Woo. gonna be a breeze <laughs> now going on to um, him not having the right people around him I feel like uh, his life also doesn't allow him to 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 have the like it's like he's he grew up fighting, and now he's in a point now where he's comfortable and he doesn't have anything to fight for. Right. So it's like now he's almost like he's beginning to fight his comfort, and he's just like because I put on Facebook like if you misuse your gift, it becomes a curse. Yeah, and that's where I'm 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 with you on that one. Yeah. It's like he's taking the voice, the strong voice that he was gifted with, and now it's just mm -hmm. he's just using it now. He's not using it as a gift. He's just using, using it. it. Yeah. You're just using it. And he's so self-absorbed and so distant and so out of touch with reality and out of touch with the people that he got his mind made up that just because he says he's 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 helping, then he's helping. It's kind of like the time when he was like, uh, he said, hey, hey, black people don't buy anything from Louis Vuitton today. And he really thought that that was going to keep black people from buying, buying Louis, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he kind of like talks himself into believing that he's more important than he is. Like he is important, but nigga, we will dismiss you. And it's like he is. No, I don't think we we I don't think we are as a culture. I don't think we are. I don't think we're gonna we. He can keep messing up. We're not gonna dismiss yeah. him. Yeah, uh, uh, he'll eventually get there. The but gravitation. I feel like this is a major hit. I don't feel like he's dismissed. Because you don't be on social media like that. He's very much on his way to dismissal. You think he's gonna dismiss him? I think he's just oh, gonna yeah, end no, up. I, yeah. I think he's gonna end up on the other side of the table, but we, he's not gonna be in dismissed. When you say other side of the table, you mean it's like, just like just like everybody give me a, saying. Give me a give me a give me a celebrity that we just push to the other side of the table. No, he's just on the other side of the table, like because you got celebrities just on the other fucking side of the table. Let's say for instance, um, all these motherfuckers that get famous for no reason. What's the little bird nigga? Famous for no reason. Okay, hold on, wait. A okay, all right. Let, 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 just let me, on the negative. Hold on, wait, let me let me throw some names out there. You're gonna tell me if they've been dismissed or just put to the other side of the table. Stacey Dash, is she dismissed or has she been on the other side of the table? Of our culture? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say she's been dismissed. She's been right. going for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying Kanye's well, not she also be... ain't active, though, either. So if Kanye... She just go ahead, to... go ahead. All right, how about Steve Harvey? You think he's been dismissed or on the other side of the table? He's on the other side of the table. B right. Both, kind of both. I don't think he's dismissed. No, nah, because nah, the older... No, nah, I don't know. I don't think he's dismissed. He on the other side of the table. He's not dismissed, though, by far. He's not. Okay, so I just, I just wanted to get a, a famous reference for what you meant when you say other side of the table. All right. This, so, he so gonna, not, they're going to talk more negative on him. So he's not him. quite... They're going to talk be... more negative on him than not talk about him at all. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's like it's like OJ. 
He on the other fucking side of the table. Mm, He's on the know, other fucking dude. We keep know, talking about know, OJ. Bro. We keep talking about this motherfucker. Every time OJ do something, OJ ain't done nothing against the culture though. What? I ain't black. I'm OJ. I... You gotta understand what he meant right there. My man's got off for killing a white bitch. Hey, <laughs> very true. And but yet and still, we and knew... he ain't really done Hold nothing. On. And then yet and still, when when he got off of that joint. He was on the other side of that table because everybody kind of felt like, yo, he did do that shit, though. And, like, um. Yeah, but that's like, like when you say, oh, free my homie. Like, yeah, it's I'm like, yo. on a shooting spree. My, my, my <laughs> man, little, little Toot Toot, man, he just shot 20 niggas. Hey, man, free my nigga Toot Toot, man. Yeah. He don't deserve that time. Yo, man, why, why every time we come with imaginary hood nigga names, so we got to be like one syllable repeated twice. You know? Oh, well, he can be little Toot, man. <laughs> little Toot, man. Shit, man, it's about just as worse. That's what they call him when he got older. <laughs> nigga, forty. Hey, yo, little two. Hey, so y'all think, uh, y'all think Kanye West can survive another uh, bullshit rant like he's been on lately? Yes. Mm -hmm. Still, see, do you Outside think we got a table? Okay, all right. See, nah, think... he, yeah, he's not, he's not completely dismissed yet. And I feel like don't. He can come out with the wackest fucking album. I was gonna ask that next. So whack. You think this, so? You think with with all this Woo. bullshit he's been doing lately, and a whack album, y'all think Woo. we still? Yeah. Stop that! And, and you seen the? Fucking hold on, cause I ain't even gonna bullshit you. His and lineup we, fucking with me, bro. His lineup fucking with me. I'm gonna listen up. What do you say? Come saying? on, push him. Yeah. I'm gonna give his shit a chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a quick skin. The same thing I did with Pablo. I'm probably not gonna like it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it. What push him? No. Uh, Kanye. Oh no, I ain't. Li I ain't I'm gonna listen to Pusha shit. Just, I'm expecting to like it. I'm probably gonna hate about three songs because he's gonna have a couple of fuck boys up there. I know the designer gonna be up there on his gay shit. Um, you know what? Like oh, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Panda, 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 panda. I'm gonna listen to Nas shit. I'm, I'm curious with Nas shit because it's gonna have some Kanye beats and hopefully yeah, these beats is goddamn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see, you see the A E I O U's. Nah, nah, nah. I you heard saw about, it, but I didn't. Yeah, you click on it. Nah, you ain't see that shit. The designer was on a breakfast club, and he was like, man, I really be studying music, man. I'm into the vowels and everything, the A's, O's, and the I-U's. And he was just like, you're missing a letter, man. He, tried, he kept trying to go through the A-E-I-O-U, but he couldn't remember it. Uh, then uh, Charlemagne. That's, that's yeah. what it was. I saw Charlemagne posted, and it was like, sometimes why? And I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to look at this. I don't even want to look at this. <laughs> that was his caption, sometimes why? That's funny you know, he was like, He was like, remember the A-E-I-O-U's? And sometimes the wire, some shit like that, like it. And I was looking at, it, I'm like, all right, this is hold on, like, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. I will show you later. I don't want to spend too much time. Yes, on sir. It. Go ahead. All right. I'm sorry. What were you saying about uh, Kanye's album? How you were expecting it to be? I'm expecting it to be garbage, just like Saint Pablo. Jesus was trash. Um, what was it before that? Uh, Pablo, Jesus, Watch the Throne, Watch the Throne. Um, mm. Twisted Dark Fantasy, I think, was before that. Because I think there was a pretty big gap between Dark Fantasy and Level Okay, if it was a gap, then it was Fantasy. Yeah, yeah it was Fantasy and, did, and Watch did, the Throne was the gap. I did kind of like that. 808s was... Yo, Fantasy was my shit. I ain't, I ain't listen to 808s, though. I ain't get a chance. It was different. Yeah, I I just... It's it's I, more so the type of shit that he's been putting out now. It, was, it wasn't a rap album. It was weird. Yeah. Almost like... I know the Doom, Cutty Doom, Doom, shit. Doom. Yeah. yeah, right. That was the beginning of all that. Nah, I just I didn't shove it to the side. I just never got around to it because I mm -hmm. think fucking Jeezy and all that shit were coming out yep. around. It, it was just yeah. it was it was hectic. Mention, yeah. That was a uh, was snap was, era. Yeah, was, like the end of the snap era around that time. Yeah, that was the end of the snap because it was a uh, beginning of deep when eight oh eight came time. out. Yeah, it was a lot of yeah. music out there, but okay, yeah, that's that's what. It was a recession going on in them streets. Right, I do remember the videos. I think came from eight oh eight or. Yeah, 808 was the Africans in the in the white background, like the abyss. I do remember the video, though, but yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm expecting Pusha shit to be dope. What about Tiana Taylor? I didn't care for her on a good music album. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give it a listen. I know my I haven't heard any of her shit. I think my old lady might get her a listen just because she's a dancer. I'm going to give it a listen just to see... What her style of music is? Yeah, I heard he produced the whole shit. So that's what that's what it, his whole thing is like. I, dude, he couldn't have produced all of Pusha shit. I don't see why not. I mean, it's been all a, of it, Nas. Yeah, think about it. It's been a minute since any of them dropped some shit. 
Push just no, it ain't no just. I'm shutting up. Never yeah. mind, it ain't been no just. So what he supposed to did all the pusher shit too? Cause I know he did all the her yeah. shit. Yeah, it's he supposed to be like her shit, it. push it, non shit. Like I'm hoping it's just like yo, I got a couple songs of this type shit, not like all. Cause another thing about like how smart he is and stuff is like uh, I don't think, I don't think he'd be doing all this if the album was whack. Cause I don't, cause I think he knows he can't do this and drop a whack album. It's a rap, like you can't. I mean, people are going to listen anyway. Regardless. The thing is now is not to have hot music. It's just to make the buzz. Yeah, but if, and then uh, it's like who decides what, what is hot. And not hot. You can turn on the radio. I guarantee you turn on the radio right now. Some bullshit playing. He, and he's going to still get them same people that's spending them couple of G's on his clothes and shoes and shit. They're going to buy the album anyway. I wonder like how big is his his cult following as far as the motherfuckers that'll like it regardless of what he puts out. I don't know. Yeah. But it has to be worth. It has to be worth something. Like I, ain't, I know people that were like huge fans. Like not know, but like social media and shit. I seen people that were like huge fans, and I was like, "Yo, this dude is bugging." But I'm pretty sure they still gonna get his shit to listen. It's just fucking music. Yeah. Like Stacey Dash, she dismissed, but do she not still look good? Facts. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. So with the uh, worst segue ever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Royce the Five got a new album out. Book of Rhyme. Thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hip Hop over here don't like shit if it ain't got that boom bap and snap to it. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, the shit the shit was uh the shit was extremely dope. I was I was highly uh I'm not gonna say impressed. I was caught off guard. I didn't know the shit was dropping. So I that's why I put it in the thing because I'm like, because like I wake up every Friday, I'm going through the shit, and I'm like, what's new? And then I'm looking at this like, what's up?